Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah. Lead the way. We should be able to reach the barons up top. Once we find a way past this hive matter. I remember these things. Definitely Dark Elf territory. <laughs> Gotta hit them all at once, remember? Ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Hail, fellow travelers! Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> this will be of use. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. <gasps> Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated <laughs> Gulon. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? Whatever this thing is, I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels are plenty out here. Let's find one, see where it takes us. Ah! <laughs> 
What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. There's a cave entrance. <sighs> this cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple.
Did the Twilight Stone give you the angle you need, brother? know more about the Dark Elves. I wish we didn't have to fight them. They... creature you heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I'm curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay.
never been this interested before. When I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you've helped some random animals. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes, getting involved where we shouldn't.
Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alphine, we wind up hurting Dark Elf? We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that. But I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. Largest bloody half you have ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain, it's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, we'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so. Oh boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. surface now.
Why did they trap it down here? Half of us are known to burrow. So I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting dark elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. Cut the half goofa loose here. We'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here. Don't we'll have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered he just wants to spend time with you, lad? While well, he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Grola kept secret, Asgard still falls. Didn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? Wait, let us look this way. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up, but there's another storm out that way. You think that means... Another half Gufa. The chisel will not open this. Did the lighthouse put this lock here? How would they care what happens in the barrens? A fair question. But until we find the right key, that poor half goofa will have to continue its slow act.
about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about... myself. Considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference, I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical, Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye. But twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You've really got to write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. Lovely crystal work in those elven. Hey, Sin. Tears had enough time to uh, find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, and I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it? Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me. Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. I'm glad you're in a better mood. Yes. <laughs> Dress. Eat. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. 
Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. A word that clouds your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I'm counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But to use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that you... Oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphonse. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonahan! What do you want? Let's go! Duma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey! Whatever. Don't run off! Whatever. Whatever. Can you tell me whatever. where I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? <laughs>
I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Why is this happening? This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Where are you going? Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. Where am I? Can you understand me? Oh. Hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? <coughs> Any idea how I got here? <coughs> I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. <coughs> Scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. <laughs> you tell me if you were going to eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> the paint is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future.
I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. Um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angoboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, Goku. R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Oh, This way. I'll, uh, take my own path. <laughs> so where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. Oh, I've heard this in guard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. <sighs> So, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. Or called it. What's that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants weren't all supposed to be... giants. <sighs> So, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Take that! Watch out! out! doing before you came here surviving fumble winter wait is that a thing around here did you know about it i did i'll be up above you but keep going the way you're going <laughs> is that chainmail I wonder what Brock and Sinji would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? <laughs> you think our giants are strange? They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. Yeah. Can't believe there are nightmares here, too.
breaking stuff it's just something my father you know what never mind do you see anything you could use like last time I'm great. I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... <sighs> yeah. Go! <laughs> Wait, where are you? Over here! I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they... Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. Okay? I'm sorry. Loki! Uh, ah! I've got it. Tell me when! Sure. Hang on. Okay, 
Now you! 